I have a Weathermaker 8000 carrier uh, furnace that was giving an error code and the error code is number 33. The way you can tell is uh, the little red indicator light, like that little indicator light will flash a code. It'll flash slow and then fast and the slow number you count it and then the fast number you count it and it will tell you what your error is. Then on your panel down here you just look and you'll be able to find the code. Mine was number 33 and that's the uh, limit or flame rollout FRS switch. That happens if um, the flow of air is restricted. The most likely cause is if your filter is dirty. Uh, so what will happen is, is the blower will kick on and it will run, but you'll never get your flame to ignite. So this will never be igniting and that guy will never be spinning. So um, you can reset that if the switch itself is not bad and that's just depressing this button right here. But if you depress that button after you've changed your filter and it still won't ignite, then the problem is that guy right there, that's the actual switch inside the firewall. Best way to narrow it down and make sure if you know for certain is undo those two red wires right there of course make sure that you've switched off the power on the side of your furnace first pull those wires out and just set them so you remember that the red wire coming from this switch attaches to the left side and the red wire going to the main board uh, I just set them on the sides that they go and then I don't forget. Then um, perform a continuity test, get your multimeter. And I don't know if I can do this one handed or not. Sorry about the weird angle there. But uh, if you just get your two probes, I don't have gator clips so um, I can't really show you very well. Let me see if I can do it like this. Get your one probe on the one side, one probe on the other. Okay, I've got connection now. And you'll notice there is no continuity. So, uh, then what you can do is take these two wires and tape them together and that if it will start up and then you'll get the flame ignite you'll know by passing that switch that it's good so I'm gonna go ahead and tape it up and I'll show you what happens alright so I taped those two together and now I'm gonna flip on the power switch I'm gonna depress this my red light comes on and okay so that just gave me error code 12 and error code 12 is that the blower is powering up after it's been off and what I should happen what should happen in about 30 seconds is uh, this little exhaust fan will start spinning Okay, there you go, and I should get ignition here, Let's see if my igniter comes on. There you go, it's glowing.
voila, we got gas. Alright, so now it's off to the parts store to get that switch. My part for uh, the limit switch replacement and this is the part number HH12ZB180 and you can see what I paid for it, $21.95, that's not bad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and throw this thing in and get it all ready to go. Alright, the switch goes this way so you can see uh, it's down, writing side down, just slides right up into that hole and I'm gonna do this uh, without the camera because it's too hard to do it one-handed okay got these uh, sheet metal screws got that one and the one that's up here on the top buttoned up remember coming off uh, off of the uh, left side of the switch just matches up with the left side pop that on there and then this wire that feeds down to the control panel, you're going to pop it onto the right side. There we go. I got that in place. Okay, now I should be able to get everything to fire up on me. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip my power back on. And I'm going to just depress the safety button and my light. Should now start flashing 12. Uh oh. I do not want that. Let's keep that plastic out of there. Try it again. Solid one. And now, after 90 seconds, see that come on, and we should see the igniter kick on here. And mission accomplished, I bet. Let's see what happens. Hey, that's a great sign right there. Okay. Getting that clearing things out. Now we should see the igniter kick on here in 30 seconds. One nice thing too is the uh, indicator light is solid, which means no problems. And now we've got the igniter coming on. We'll see gas. This jet's gonna ignite. That is a happy, happy sight after two cold nights, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Happy fixing, and hope this helps you to resolve your problem with your furnace. Enjoy.